This is following on with extended highlights of the second day of the first test between India and England from Chennai, exclusively on TalkSport 2. Download the following on podcast from your podcast provider for the reaction to the day's play as well as exclusive interviews and analysis. We join the action with Joe Root at the crease on 128 with Ben Stokes, the new man, after the late wicket of Dom Sibley on day one. Here is Lumbra again, and uh, a defensive stroke that from a ball that didn't bounce much actually, but it, he played played it fine, no run. Yeah, and I think that that sort of technique would would have been developed on the uncovered pitches uh, from back in the day, where you did need the second line of defence. I think nowadays the pitches, uh, the ball maybe goes a little bit quicker because it isn't from the overnight rain that maybe stops in the surface for the spin. Um, and you have to play that little bit further in front of yourself. So if your timing is fractionally wrong, it does affect that back path coming down. Um, and I think that is why maybe for a period of time, because of DRS, people haven't been scoring the volume of runs uh, that they maybe did back in the day. Yeah, Alistair Cook used that method a bit too. Oh, a bold! Jeepers! That is so close. It's a fast Yorker from Bumrah and only Stokes, a man with a fast eye, somehow can keep it out. I think it then bounced over the stumps, did it? It looked as though it, bowled, it, it bounced over the stumps. He looks as though he's jabbed it into the crease line and it's gone, it's gone off the back pad and it's gone over the top of leg stump. And Jasper Brummer, to be fair, Mark, he's bowled, I would say, four now in this 92 overs. In all four of them, he must have been thinking, how have I not got a wicket? Sibley, Root twice, and now Stokes. He's thinking, how have I not got a wicket with you know, in-swinging Yorker like that? So fair play to England for, for keeping it out. Mm. And now go back to Stokes. His head position when it's in good position. That's a good shot. Beautiful little late cut. You've really got to trust your eye to, to play that when you first come to the crease. And he's got it between gully and second slip. And uh, it's a boundary for Stokes. And England are 269 for three. Root taps the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stands and cuts. Beautiful stroke. Quality shot. And cut hard, actually. He only had a bit of width to work with. But, well, he's in good form. Ashwin now to Stokes, who has to reach a little further forward for the ball there. And does so comfortably he's always been happy having a long period playing himself in um, and he seems to be here too this time he's back it's a quicker ball from Ashwin Fran Lara once said that when I interviewed him somewhere sometime I, I give the bowler 40 minutes if I'm still there after 40 minutes I'm figuring uh, the rest of it belongs to me <laughs> Uh, why? Tossed up. Will you drive me? Yes, he will, but he flat bats it in the end. Trying to slap it, really, like a tennis shot. From experience, Mark, it wasn't 40 minutes, it was about four balls. <laughs> I, was just about, I was just about to say, he, he gave us 40 minutes for three days in Antigua. Oh, good shot. It's full from Ashwin. He says, do you want to come at me? And the answer is emphatic. Ben Stokes pumps Ravi Ashwin down the ground for six. Delighted to say that part of the TalkSport 2 commentary team uh, as well for this series is the former Indian player Akash Chopra and uh, he is uh, joining us now. Akash, uh, very good morning to you. Uh, can we start by uh, just giving us a bit of a flavour? What was the reaction in the Indian media to uh, to the first day's play? Oh, very good morning to you too and everybody uh, who's listening to us. Uh, uh, not, not a lot of criticism, uh, what we've seen in the media so far. Uh, we do understand that uh, that England is a tough opposition. They've uh, done exceedingly well on their previous tour to Sri Lanka. These are not really spin-ready, so to speak, a dust bowl kind of uh, pitch where uh, you would come and steamroll the opposition uh, and you will be dismissing them in 80-90 uh, overs. Uh, so it is uh, a bit of a rude shock, to be fair. Uh, uh, but, then, uh, but then the reaction hasn't been that loud either. Uh, so there is no criticism. Uh, but there is a bit of caution that uh, what to expect if this is the trailer uh, the picture of this entire the movie of this entire series is going to be very entertaining yeah absolutely well Ashwin is preparing to come in 
Once again, around the wicket, Stokes goes into the leg side with an attacking shot. It's well played through uh, square mid-wicket and it's away for uh, a boundary. Stokes goes to 16 and uh, he's got that from only 34 deliveries. England 288 for three, Goffey. Yeah, you can see with Ashwin, he's going to get frustrated. He's looking to drift it onto that off stump for Ben Stokes, getting the odd one to turn. But Ben's come to the crease. He's definitely got that glint in his eye. He's looking to be aggressive. He's looking to get after the spinners. You can see that he's already hit one down the ground for a fine six. And there he's just showing us he can also sweep a ball as well. Ishant continues, another over around the wicket to Ben Stokes, drives through mid on, it's a beautiful shot, wonderful outfield, that ball is running away towards the boundary triangles and a great effort, but an unsuccessful one, um, sadly, for who was that to chased it down to the boundary, uh, uh, Shub was that Shubman Gill? Yeah, he dived, tried to... Uh, scoop the ball back but uh, that's a lovely piece of timing from Ben Stokes and he gets full value for his Off. runs here's uh, Ishan Akash can answer that question after this as uh, Ben Stokes gets a full wide delivery and drives through the covers for four more wonderful piece of timing a rare bad delivery you have to say that Ishan hasn't bowled too many half volley length deliveries certainly not wide of the off stump and Stokes has just pushed it through point for four more he goes again and he's nearly out it loops up in fact Ashwin's asking for LBW so maybe it didn't hit the glove but that's exactly how Burns got out yesterday it loops up and yesterday Punt was able to catch it not so today and in fact they're going are they going DRS he's umming and ahhing is Coley and Punt too and they're going DRS yes they're going to have a look because of the LBW appeal interesting because you just touched on it there Matt Pant was shaking his hands, head so we don't know what the question was Adam Pant to but you would suggest play review for LBW original decision is not out it's a fair delivery spin vision please well teams get three of these now because of the situation with having local umpires at both ends I think that's an anomaly yeah, this is not far away at all if he hasn't got anything on this yeah. it'll be LBW so if he's time. got glove on it which the television replay suggests he has as I yeah. first thought Clearly actually glove, um, he's fine so screen, you know if someone had thrown themselves they might this have plucked this the inches from the ground screen, yeah I, I, I think I'm right in saying Virat's on the drive he's on like a, a straight extra cover catching he would have had a decent view of that just just hitting the glove Shabazz bowls to Root, lovely length, that uh, lovely ball in every way, but of course <laughs> Root just played it like any other ball, four defensive and it ran out to cover. It was the perfect length and, and length is all really for spin. Here he comes again, another beauty, they ask about this one. Oh, that's uh, maybe going down leg side, did it hold its line? Do they review here? I think Coley will review just because of the bowler's enthusiasm for it. He's got 10 seconds to decide. He's now got eight, seven, six. He reviews. Not a bad review. If it's if it spun, it could well be out. It's, uh, I think this is a decent review at first glance. Uh, it's Joe Root pushing forward and the ball's Adam just running to the pad. Review for LBW, Give original decision is not out. It's a fair delivery. Spin vision, please. Nice and slow, yeah, passing very close. Can we have ultra edge, please? Nice and slow. Yeah, roll it through. Flat line when the ball passes the bat. Ball tracking, please. Pitching in line, impact in line. Oh. Wickets missing. On field umpire on screen, please. Anil, stay with your original decision. You are on screen. Give not out, please. Well, confirmation of not out from uh, the third umpire and it was a really good bit of umpiring full stop um, the ball was bouncing over the stumps which shows you the value of the stride that Joe Root got in in his defensive shot because to us that looked well it looked perfect for line didn't it go <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go in the defense of the review and the bowl here the DRS showed that it was almost a foot bouncing over the stumps that should have hit Joe Root in the face not in the pad I just can't believe that that technology is correct at this point well I mean, we've been watching him for a day bowl, Nadim. I don't remember him ever getting a ball to bounce that high. He's been skidding most of his balls through. I mean, it did look like that trajectory on that particular ball was going up. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, there's been a big appeal against Joe Root. To India reviewed, and we were worried because it was very straight. As it turns out, the stride he got in 
It hit him on the roll of the pad. It was going over the top of the stumps. Way, that's a real, the first ripping, spitting, unplayable delivery. Bowled by Shabazz Nadim. Rips out of the rough and hits Stokes on the gloves at about stomach, chest height type of thing. You've been saying it, Gareth Massey. When it starts, it happens quickly. And all of a sudden, it started doing things. Yeah, I, I still think we're, um, we're a bit of time away from it, it, it becoming extremely difficult. Stokes has decided to go down the pitch and that is a uh, potential caught and bold for uh, Ashwin there. He's wringing his right hand. He's flung his right hand out to try and grab it. It's uh, been uh, knocked down. A single will be taken. Stokes goes to 32 and England put another to the total. Nadim is in. That's wider of uh, Stokes. Well, I thought that was going to be a brilliant catch at mid-wicket. The fielder has taken off to his left-hand side, full dive, and is it Pajara who's, uh, who's got a hand yeah. on that? And Stokes, uh, from outside of off stump, he's trying to whack it into the leg side, and well, in the end, it's a brilliant attempt. Stokes has absolutely drilled that, and that's like a, a goalkeeper in the Premier League this afternoon, if, if you're going to be listening to the football commentary on TalkSport and TalkSport 2. That's a goalkeeper getting up to deny it going in the top corner. Stokes on this occasion drops it into the offside and takes a single. And uh, it's 319 for three. Stokes goes to 35. Just a reminder, he's now being dropped in two consecutive overs as well. I think there's a lot of players in India that would have taken that catch. Pajara's maybe not the most naturally athletic. He doesn't have much uh, cartilage left in his knees. Although, to be fair, in that case, he, he, he was, he was uh, diving quite well. But he's not the most brilliant athlete in the field. Brings Joe Root on to strike. 149 not out. Nadim is around the wicket. And Joe Root, easily as you like, just pushes into the offside into cover and takes a single to take him to 150 not out made from 260 deliveries and Joe Root's incredible run of form continues has he ever played better than this he's got 150 out of England's 320 for three men out on the uh, the boundary for Stokes he wants to go big on the left arm spinner he's bowling left arm over yes. Stokes is going to go the reverse though into the offside and that is beautifully timed three bounces through backward point for four what a shot that is and Ben Stokes has 46 already from 72 balls faced he's just having a net Ben isn't he um, had a month off at home playing his call of duty on the Xbox and now he's playing a test match in Chennai but he's just having a bit of fun gone out there no pressure whatsoever he loves playing in India got a good record with the IPL and now he's just having a net out the rough it's great to watch out the rough no less he's going on the reverse again 46 not out guess what Ben Stokes does it again pings it out the middle back to back reverse sweeps to take him to 50 from 73 deliveries England 336 for three and Ben Stokes has Test Match 50, number 23. He's turned 10 of those into hundreds. England will be hoping that number 11 is today. But Steve Harmison, your old mate, is making it look ridiculously easy. Yeah, fantastic execution of the, the reverse sweep. That one was a lot more controlled. He hit the middle of the bat and he kept it down. Stokes stays deep in the crease on this occasion, dropping it down at his toes. What I'm liking about Ben Stokes is when he's in defence, he's dropping his hands and he's playing it soft. He's trying to play, you know, bounce the ball down in front of him and, you know, try and play in a little bit of French cricket. But when he's attacking, he's attacking hard. Stokes swings hard into the leg side. On this one, he's got a good old chunk of that piece of cricket ball and it's going to land 10, 15 rows back in the stand. And Ben Stokes is there and he is in great form 41 not out with the six england 326 for three here on talk sport and talk sport two 115 overs gone for all that excitement that the pitch is beginning to provide now every now and then not very often i think england's batsmen will still be saying and root will still be saying not enough not enough yeah absolutely manners and it is not enough the two of them you know two good friends and you mentioned how good a, a friends they were i spoke to neil fairbrother who looks after root and stokes um day before the game and talked about ben presenting joe with his cap his hundredth cap and 
Joe spoke fondly about it last night in the media and Ben Stokes was nervous, very nervous about what he was going to say and how he was going to say it because he didn't want to make a mess of it. And you know, when you're talking about you know, friendship and what they've gone through, they have gone through a hell of a lot. You know, Ben spoke about Ben spoke fondly about Joe being there for him when things weren't going so well and we what happened with Bristol and stuff like that. And then, obviously, you know, Ben and Ben and Joe have, have gone through their whole career, seventy odd Test matches. You know, that Ben's got. So, you know, you talk about good friendships and when you get into situations like this having your mate 22 yards away is arguably as good as, as anything else in the world because you want to get a score for him and he wants to do it for you Jasper Boomer is back into the attack now for a final burst before the lunch break here is Boomer first delivery is uh, turned nicely off his pads by Joe Root down towards fine leg and uh, they go through for an easy single I was thinking ice cream there and you talk about Ben and Joe <laughs> <laughs> business partnership in the future I'm sure <laughs> but the uh, Bumra really uh, the all Indian attack has looked the most dangerous bowler hasn't he so far in this test match so we say it's quite slow the pitch but he's the one who looks like taking wickets more than any of the other bowlers which is promising for England because they've got Archer and Anderson and Stokes in the bowling lineup. Sunday yeah. in Stokes goes for the slog sweep once more and uh, this time he's picked up another boundary he hasn't got all of that that's a little bit of a bottom edge on that but uh, <laughs> he's got more than enough of it but he looks at his back quizzically now saying what's wrong with you where's the middle oh. Boomer and last ball of the over and Stokes happy to push that one defensively out towards cover and uh, there's no run we've only got a couple of minutes time for one more over before the lunch break you would think and uh, Stokes is 63 not out, Joe Root's 155, England a 353 for three. Oh, he's actually the, it's not the end of the over because that's been called a no ball. Was that the alarm? Is that yeah, the alarm that's the no ball no alarm. Yeah. Hang on a minute, you've not finished mate, come back, you're going to ball another one. This vehicle's bit, reversing. <laughs> it's, a <bit> like, <laughs> it's a bit like your alarm and your eyes at 1.45 yesterday morning. <laughs> and this morning <laughs> mate, oh, dear me. Your driver tried to get you about that 300 yards you didn't want to walk for your car this morning. This vehicle is reversing. <laughs> 1.45 a.m. alarm call. That, that's me. brutal. What that is that about? That is brutal. 1.45. Last ball of the session and Ben Stokes comes forward and blocks it away. Resolutely up towards mid-on. Dead bat defensive push. And England have had a very very fine session resuming at 263 for three they've taken the score to 355 for three with uh, Ben Stokes and Joe Root closing in on a century partnership after the double hundred partnership yesterday between Dom Sibley and uh, the England captain who's having a memorable 100th test match England then 355 for three I mean you just you couldn't have asked for any more in that session could you brilliant session for England and I think yeah, you got it spot on manners I think for Ben Stokes to come to the crease and have that intent from ball one it's allowed Joe Root just to bat and keep building his innings and he was the one uh, the aggressor when Don Sibley was at the crease and it's almost like the revolve the roles are reversed haven't they and, and and it's good when when a team can do that communication uh, ben likes to come to the crease, he likes to attack spin, we've seen that in many innings he's played over the years and Joe now has just gone back in his shell a little bit, just playing for Ben Stokes and if one of them gets out it'll be interesting to see because we've got Oli Pope who can play either innings, Oli Pope can come to the crease, he can either get dig in or he has, again can, can attack the spinners Josh Butler is another guy who can do it so they're in a great position England at this moment I'm just time. thinking about Josh Butler <laughs> how are India going to feel when he walks to the crease at 450 for four Stokes is such a dominant figure out there you know some guys look taller than they are feel bigger than they are a lot more threatening than perhaps they need be oh good shot so a roots back beautifully eased off the back foot through square cover that's something else really that's a it's a man a in great form and timing it beautifully but, but but really just seeing it so big we're seeing the rolls royce of batting aren't we it's just beautiful the way he's moving everything's elegant precise it looks the best of the best right now he's moving forwards and backwards on this occasion pushes back off that front foot press and just a beautiful back foot punch mm. and the ball rattles off 
Oh, he's down the pitch there, and he gets all of it way over mid on, maybe into the top tier of that stand. A beautiful ball strike from a wonderful batsman. Ben Stokes goes to 72. I'm not suggesting for a second anything, because I'm scratching my head. I mean, he's just run down the wicket and played a beautiful shot there. But I think if you're saying, I'm going to hit the rough, the one thing that you are saying to the batter is you know where the ball's going to pitch. So you're going to put your deep square leg, your deep mid wicket. For me, I would say I would prefer him possibly running down the wicket like that. So I would even lose my point out and say your reverse sweep now. Um, is a biggish shot. The, uh, the ideal thing is that you still have a man somewhere in and around there for if he doesn't get it for a catch, you don't have 12 fielders, unfortunately. But at 3.74 for three, they are very much in need of a wicket. That's a statement of the obvious. Here's Bumrah once again. It's a slower ball, and it's a full toss, and Ben Stokes says, thanks, Jazz. I'll have that one through long on for four more. Roots got off to a good start. Sibley's got off to a good start. And ben Stokes has, so... Uh, it's all looking good so far for England. A long way to go, by the way. We haven't seen India bat. And it's always hard, isn't it, to judge what any wicket's like until you see both teams bat on it and both teams bowl on it. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. I, I'm just wondering, and it's that ti the time has not come, I'm wondering when the time might come when England uh, start to, to think and, and talk about a possible uh, bowl at the end of day two, or will they just bat through the first two days? As I say, that time is not here yet. Slog sweep here as uh, Shabazz Nadim comes back into the attack. It's caught at deep backward oh. square leg. Chateshwa Pajara fiddled and dropped it. It squirmed out of his hands, but he caught it at the second attempt. And Ben Stokes, who's profited so richly from the slog sweep, has perished to it in the end. And Shabazz Nadim, the left arm spinner, has a wicket, the big wicket of Ben Stokes, who's batted beautifully for his 82. But you live by the sword and you die by it, and it's the slog sweep that has been so profitable for him, which has been his downfall as well. Yeah, unfortunately for Ben Stokes, they were talking about when he hits the squares of the slog sweep and it goes to deep mid wicket that tends to be a stronger area that one there he almost were off balance when he caught the ball he went down to a more orthodox place backward behind uh, backward square leg and unfortunately for him he got a little bit of a top edge and I say Pajara had two goals in it didn't he but it's a big wicket for India they needed the breakthrough they managed it here on Talksport 2 and uh, England 387 for 4 with Ollie Pope probably going to walk to the crease it's another short ball from Ishant Sharma and Joe Root has gone out on the pull. Pulls out to uh, the mid-wicket sweeper. Pajara will do the fielding. It's just a single. He goes to 175 and the 400 is up for England. A single from Joe Root takes them to 400. 400 for four. 131 overs and two balls. Well, that's the first marker. Now make it 450, then 500. But, Goffey, they've got to 400 at least. Well, get in, cash in. And that's what England are doing and Joe Root's doing. Um without a doubt, but at least uh, the Indian bowlers have been listening, listening to Akash, he talked about bowling more bouncers, and we've seen that, we saw it from Bumran, now we've seen it from Sharma. Yep, do wonder if this is going to be a concerted attempt at quite a few short balls, just to see how, how the ball reacts. Especially if he's going to play the, the uh, try and pull and hook on this sort of surface as well, because as I say, some, some will come out quicker than others. Pope has five as he waits for Ishan Sharma. That's a slower ball. That's certainly not a, a bouncer. That's a slower ball that was drifting down the leg side. Pope tries to turn it in to uh, the uh, vacant area on the mid-wicket side, but only finds the fielder and there is no run. Do you get the feeling, Akash, that this will be a, a bit of a barrage short stuff, or, or is that just a coincidence, if you like? Uh, well, it should be. Uh better late than never because uh, you need to bowl the bouncers uh, there has to be a different line of attack a different plan when uh, the batsmen are set but just one little thing that i wanted to actually highlight uh, about that no ball story uh, that five years prior to that uh, uh, third umpire calling the no ball the average no balls per test match was about five it has raised to increase to 11. quite important when you, you sense a little buzz about the opposition you don't want to let them in the door you don't want them to keep having new batsmen to bowl to it's crucial that, that Pope spends time building innings and is, is, is an anchor for, for Root as he works that 
onto the leg side for no run. Good tidy over from Ashwin, 4.04 for four. It's almost a, a double whammy. With a new batter coming in, it's not as easy to come in and rotate the strike as Root uh, and Stokes were doing. So you're kind of pinning Root down at the non-striker's end and trying to get P uh, Pope under more pressure, making face a lot of balls to pin him down there. So if one does spit and go, there's a better chance you're getting a newer batter. I think that's why they're trying to rush, and I think that's why they're trying to put the extra pressure on Pope. And there's a bit more chirp around the bat. There's a bit more hustle. You can hear it on the stump mic. There's just, just a bit more encouragement going on. You just feel like India maybe feel they're just in the in the long grass looking to pounce, and you just feel like they're just looking for that ball to just just find an edge somewhere, find the pad. Root on strike. I guess they won't mind Root having a single. Uh, although, in fact, he defends almost exactly in the way that Pope did three times last over with uh, his sort of half forward and then his back leg, his right leg, just comes across to sort of balance him. Down he comes, smashes it down the ground, does Root. Beautiful footwork and clean ball striking. A boundary to savour. Wonderful footwork. He's run down the wicket, scampered down. Not quite got to the pitch of the ball, but completes the shot, hits it hard and flat. Ollie Pope hits the deck. Wow, he's gone down hard. It would have hit him sort of throat height. He hits the deck, a little wry smile from the both of them. The shackles released. That is brilliant from Joe Root. That's not just releasing the pressure on himself, it's releasing pressure on Pope and the situation. Down comes Pope. Nice, nice, really nice. That is a super shot. The footwork is crisp and clear. The ball striking is clean. And thus it's a boundary to Pope, who moves from 7 to 11 in 40 balls in England to 415 for 4. What a platform this is. Here is Ashwin once again. He bowls very, very quickly, um, not just through the air, but uh, between deliveries as well. The question, the sort of a yes or no, England bowl this evening? No. <laughs> okay, that's good. I like that. So you're looking at 600 plus. You just bat, the bat into the third morning. Here's Ashwin again. Sweet shot. And uh, there's uh, an appeal. It's caught at leg slip. Not out, says uh, the umpire Anil Chowdhury. Not out. She's international debut for uh, Anil Chowdhury. And, um, well, th th there's thinking about the DRS here, but uh, Virat Kohli's gone for it. Oh. Right on one second to go. Literally one second to go. So Oli Pope's gone for the sweet shot. He didn't think he hit it. I didn't think he hit it. Nobody yep. obviously thought that he hit it. It's come catch. off his pad, caught at leg slip. And uh, the, the, the original decision, appeal decision, was not particularly enthusiastic, I didn't think. Maybe from Ravi Ashwin. Uh, but maybe it was so. uh, some desperation. Okay, it's been reviewed. Gareth, talk us through it. Yeah, Pope's down on a sweep and... Just got there a little bit time. early, and as the ball has bounced, it's gone up over the blade of the bat, missed the gloves for me, and hit him glove. sort of halfway up the forearm face. on his right hand, uh, his yep, right please. forearm. So he's through the shot. The only thing it possibly could be, as it has it just grazed the glove as it's continued up onto the middle of his forearm, might yeah, just have hit the sweatband. The glove. Can we have all right, please? All right, well, ultra edge there. It's hit him on the forearm, as you say, right, but it's sort of midway between the elbow and the wrist so that that's the impact we can definitely see that's in no doubt whatsoever ultra edge will tell us whether it has grazed the glove before it's hit him on the forearm it's missed the bat i think is fair to say yeah it's missed the bat there's nothing on ultra edge has it touched the glove still rumbling no yeah roll it forward Line is that clear to you, Bats? Yeah, it is for me. The, there's now daylight like, uh, between the, the ball, bat, ball tracking, yes. and glove. I don't know why we're going to ball tracking. Uh, the third umpire has just Pitching asking for... Impact umpire's call. I'm not sure why we are looking for LBW if it's hit him on the forearm. On I mean... Anil, okay, fair enough. Decision. Yeah, I suppose it You're could be. I'm just going to say one thing, Manners. We're just looking at ball tracking here. That should have bounced over his head if we're going on ball <laughs> tracking. That's ridiculous. <laughs> no, you're right. Absolutely right. The third umpire is uh, Chedahodi Shamshuddin, who's also making his test debut. So two debutants. Anyway, 416 for four. The score remains. It's not out. 
that ball tracking was that didn't look right at all. Yeah, I, there's been a couple today where I've been su- suspect, um, but um, that's with human naked eye and, and so on and so forth. Shabazz once again, and it's uh, slapped away to backward point. And there's no run. If you had the normal 15-man squad, then then you'd be nervous, wouldn't you? You'd be worried. But if England have got 19. They've got a whole spare attack, you know. And if, if you say sorry, Jimmy, um, but you're not playing the next test anyway. <laughs> oh, that's gone straight through. And it's hit him on the back leg. Appeal for leg before wicket. India have used up all their reviews. Absolutely distressed is uh, Shabaz Nadim. He's absolutely convinced he's got his man trapped. LBW on the back leg, but Virat Kohli's got a, only himself to blame. Really, he's had a couple of wildly speculative and optimistic reviews and Ollie Pope lives to uh, bat on another day but uh, I thought he's hit it man. if he oh, hasn't hit he? this he's out I mean, the, the bats were straight on it yeah oh, I think yeah, he's, he's got a little scratch on it and he has yeah. he's he's thick inside edge though. thick inside edge but I think when you look at the appeal and the exuberance of appeal it was begging a little bit but goes back to what I was saying before how raggy um, India have looked in the, this this test match. The fielding's been you know, relatively poor. There's two or three times in the last over, England have getting a single from a from a man inside the ring, um, and they've lost all three reviews poorly. Two of them really really poor. So, you know, for me that tells you where where India's at, uh, and it's it's I think it's symptomatic to where to where India's been to. But I think England. One thing we have been talking about is not looking too far ahead, haven't we, Macca? Ashford in once again. Roots coming down the pitch. He's going over mid on. Has he cleared it? Yes, he has. Double. Joe Root, double hundred. An absolute beauty. Over wide long on. He takes his helmet off, kisses the England badge on it. He's got a huge grin on his face. 341 balls. 439 for four and Joe Root has almost half of those take a bow captain in your 100th test when he hits this next contact and it goes over the rope Joe Root doesn't know he's got 200 here he doesn't know he's got a double 100 you watch this again he's hit it then he turns around and looks at the scoreboard and his face completely changes Rahit Sharma to uh, completely over bowls an absolute rank delivery that was like me for on a third 11 on a Sunday afternoon well, Joe Root played it away and walked down the pitch for a, a comfortable single and he's just giggling because that is absolute fifth uh, Virat Kohli's just gone up to him and uh, just a little fist bump to say well played because that is the end of the session it is T on day two and England won the toss at uh, nine o'clock Chennai time yesterday morning and at ten past two on day two they are still batting 454 for four is the scoreline after 147 overs England have missed out on putting 100 runs on in the session by only a single they put on 99 runs in 28 overs it has been a stunning effort from the England captain once again he is walking off the pitch with 209 to his name so far 353 balls faced 19 of them have been hit for four two of them have hit for six Ollie Pope 24 not out from 74 balls faced for him he's uh, hit two boundaries the only man dismissed today Ben Stokes caught by Pajara at the third attempt I might add off the bowling of Nadine for 82 from just 157 balls that wicket going down in the 127th over of the innings 147 have been sent down and at T, Steve Harmison and Darren Goff, England, 454 for four. Hi, it's Jerry. You're listening to the England Tour, live and exclusive on Talk Sport 2. 460 for four now. Jasper Former are looking for a third wicket. Got two of the four to have fallen. Oh, and that's a thick edge and it's gone past, slipped out towards third man for four it wouldn't have carried had there been a second or third slip there is only one slip and he's pretty wide he's trying to cover that's the captain Virat Kohli he's trying to cover first and second slip but this wouldn't have carried would it it's an old and tired ball yeah and it, it was a it was a reasonable 
sort of edge as well from, from Oli Pope. He got in a pretty good position, but it's so far outside his eye line. It's sort of a whitish ball that he's thrown his hands at. Um, in the end, he did well not to, th not, to, not to try and throw his hands too much, which maybe just stopped it going finer as a, as a nick. Um, he sort of rode it almost with his, with his swing. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's not a good sign for the fast bowlers watching there. This is uh, Ashwin. Still bowling from very close to the stumps and with a very high arm, over spin mainly, not much off spin. So not the side spin. That, you know, there's two different ways of bowling spin. And on that occasion, Root was able to go back and work the single on the leg side as the ball was just, well, what we would call on a good length. But, of course, he's so deep in the crease on the back foot that he works it away as if it was short. That's close to LBW and maybe LBW. Yep, it sure is. That's a lovely bit of bowling. Exactly the ball I'm talking about, really. The over spinner that hurries on. And uh, England are not to review it, I wouldn't think. Uh, he looked in front of all three, did Ollie Pope. And a good experience for him comes to an end as he trudges off the field disconsolate. Having missed a straight ball, it really is as simple as that. Yeah, Oli Pope looked up at his captain at the other end as it struck him on the back leg. Just trying to knock the ball into mid-wicket and it. The ball straightened on him, hurried on, hit him bang in front of all three. The captain, unfortunately, gave him that knowing shake of the head. Sorry, pal, we're not going to waste a review on this one. That's, uh, that's, that's as out as they come. It is fragile, this game. You, 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 you watch Root back, you think that he might never get out. And suddenly he'll nick one and he'll think, gosh, he could have got out at any time. <laughs> you know, there's really, it was a bit like Dom Sibley last night, who suddenly missed a, a straight ball, albeit a swinging one. Possibly because he was looking to defend for the close of play rather than score off it. It was a single out on the offside for Butler, who goes to three. Root has 218, is on strike now. He's 477 for five is the England total. Is, no, they ask for LBW. Oh, he's given it out. He's given it out. He'll definitely review that. That looks to me like it might be drifting down the leg side. Root was well forward, trying to work the ball through square leg. And, and I'll be fascinated to see the replay of this Start and to listen to DRS. Director, play review for LBW, original this. Root has original reviewed. decision is out. It's a fair delivery. Spin vision, please. Nice and slow. Yeah, ball passing very close to the bat. Can we have alterates, please? Well, it's closer than we thought. Could be hitting leg stump. Roll it nice and slow. Roll it forward. Still up to the bats, please. Yeah, flat line when the ball passes the bat. Ball tracking, please. Definite concern there was on Root's face. We're going to the ball tracker now. Pitching in line, impact in line. Wickets hitting. On field umpire on screen, please. Nitin, stay with the original decision. You're yes, screen, so the original off, decision stands. So umpire Menon has got it dead right, and Joe Root's remarkable innings comes to an end. He's not happy at all. Missing a relatively innocuous delivery, but this, of course, won't receive a standing ovation from a crowd. But everybody in their hearts will be applauding an outstanding performance in his hundredth Test match. The England captain is finally out for 218. Magnificent innings there by the England captain, 218, and he goes off kicking the ground and he's cursing, and I think he's cursing with himself more than the decision. I think he's cursing himself that. He's missed the ball, that's relatively straight, what he would call his bread and butter that he's picked off so many times in this innings. I think Jared said earlier, 90 odd singles that he had and that was another one in the, in the slot for him. That's what's probably disappointed him. We're going to have to spin both ends because Ashwin will uh, bowl and that is short and wide of off stump and Joss Butler's just flayed that off the back foot along the uh, carpet all the way to the extra cover boundary and Joss Butler moves to double figures. He's got 13 from 29. Glorious shot as England go 489 for six. Absolutely, Mac. A beautiful timing there by Joss Butler. Just gone back in the crease. Give himself a little bit more room, a little bit more time for the ball to come to him. Right back on top of his stumps, the depth of the crease, and he timed the ball beautifully. And I just wonder if that there just lights the blue touch paper. 
Butler on this occasion is deep in his crease, hitting hard into the covers along the floor. And, oh, it's gone for four. I almost just assumed that there was a sweeper out there with the state of the game, and it was going to be a long single. Uh, but it's back-to-back -back boundaries. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, like you say, this might be what Just Butler needs just to, to, to light the touch paper. Oh, and that one is turned away behind square on the leg side, past leg slip, Virat Kohli stuck his right hand out I think that's come off the bat actually it's gone very quickly off Josh Butler yes indeed well that's very well bowled by Washington Sunder because he's put a little bit of extra pace he's bowled that with some power and it's gripped and turned and Josh Butler's inside edge has just gone past Virat Kohli at leg slip had he been finer it would have been a regulation shin high catch but yeah. it's just gone a bit too fine or maybe leg slips too square 525 for six. He said, bowled oh. him! He's left it alone. Butler's left it alone. There's just a little bit of drift back in towards the stumps. A little bit, perhaps, of reverse swing, but it wasn't the right one to leave anyway. It was too close to the off stump. And that tiny bit of movement, Butler leaving it alone, and it's just flicked the off stump, and he's bowled for 30. England lose their seventh wicket with a total on 525. The persevering Ishant Sharma finally has something to show for his efforts. Did you think the ball before did him? Because he played a widish ball, inside edge, and he was frustrated at that. Definitely. He not cleared his Definitely. mind. Definitely. That's, that's the main And then left yeah. the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Spot on, Goffey. I really do agree with that. I'm just, just having a look at the Hawkeye market. It, it really didn't come in all that much. I mean, it did, it no. did fade in, but it wasn't... It, he's made a mistake on, on the that's line. That's told him! First ball, Jofra Archer done completely by Ishan Sharma. Beautiful movement back at him. At a, at a strong pace that's the great thing about Ishan no matter what time of day it is he'll come at you successive boundaries back to back fours for Don Best takes him up to 16 England 519 for 6 inexperienced umpires have made two you know, had two very very good days in Chennai yeah and let's hope from an England point of view that it becomes a lot harder for them so the ball does start to, to do a bit more and explode and then those borderline decisions it just showed DRS just clipping Don Bass goes and uh, clips it into the leg slide and Rohit Sharma drops a goober. That's an absolute dolly. Washington Sundar's got naught for 93, is in his 25th over and Don Bass has just clipped it straight to mid-wicket and it's been shelled. It's Rohit Sharma not fancying facing James Anderson for one <laughs> over with a brand new SG ball. That's what that is. That's what that is. He's had to move an extra 10 yards from first slip over to mid-wicket and... The easiest way to describe it, I think you could underarm to a, at least an under six or an under seven, and I think they would still catch it. Probably too easy for, for Robert Sharma, just in his eye line ways, had to change his hands to go up over, but that is an absolute goober. And Ben Stokes' <laughs> face has just come on the screen, and he could not believe it either. Virat Kohli is not a happy captain at the moment. Sundar is still looking for his first wickets in the innings around the wicket to Jack Leach. Jack Leach is coming down the pitch. He's launched it back over the bowler's head and it's gone over mid-off and away for four. Well, Jack Leach's greatest batting moment might have been where he barely played a shot in anger. That might be one of the best strokes that Jack Leach has played. Down the pitch, takes it on and puts the bowler back over his head for four. Last ball of the day, Jasper Bummer in to Dom Bess and he pushes it gently up to... Ashwin at mid on and uh, that's the end of the day's play as uh, the senior umpire Nitish Menon removes the bales Don Best finishes the day unbeaten on 28 in the company of Jack Leach on 6 Jimmy Anderson has spent 2 days with his feet mostly up So England bat out the day, ending on 555 for eight, with India facing the prospect of a third straight morning in the field.